Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing this just like everyday makeup look, which is suitable for like work, school, you know, you don't know, if you want to like make yourself look a bit more alive. It's using all affordable products. There's one that's like a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's still not that bad. So you'll have to forgive me for that. Most of these products you can get from like the drugstore. Some of them, they are just online only. But um, obviously those ones you can just like kind of improvise and use stuff that's more like easily accessible. It takes like 20 minutes so I mean obviously there are bits where you could leave out to make it like 10 minutes. But yeah before I go on I just want to give a little um, kind of awareness to Mental Health Awareness Month. I don't really like to talk about this but I do have anxiety um, not like crippling anxiety. I know people have like severe, severe anxiety where they can't like leave the house and stuff. I was like that before when I was in uni. Um, it happened like, I think it was like six months into my first year and it just like hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, but now I don't get it that much anymore. Um, I only get it if like um, I'm arguing with someone or yeah, like when someone's like shouting, that's when I get it. I get like, and like really like big crowds when I'm like stressed. Does that make sense? Like I can't go shopping Christmas time. No. But yeah, I just wanted to like, just give a little shout out to that because I do suffer with it kind of on and off. But I know there's a lot of people out there who um, can't really go on with their day because of that. So. You need to like break the stigma and just talk about it and, and make our feelings known when they need to be known. So, so yeah, with that being said, let's get on into the tutorial. As you can see, we have some friends here this evening, so it's going to be fun trying to cover up those. Great. So for primer, I'm just going to use the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops as like an all over base because it's like nice and glowy and I like to be glowy. I've already like moisturised before this. Once all that is kind of set in, I'm gonna go on to my base. Uh, on a day to day basis, I don't really wear that much eyeshadow, so I don't mind doing my base first. I'm just gonna use the Mario Badescu um, Rose Water. This is like £7 on Big Bay, so. Just to give it like some more hydration to my skin. Okay, so my both like top affordable foundations, I use either the Max Factor Healthy Skin Harmony Foundation. This is in the shade beige, and then I either like the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This one you can get online on Beauty Bay, and this one is just like in Brutal Superdrug. But I don't know which one to go for today. I think I'm gonna go with the Max Factor one, because I've been really enjoying it recently. I just like to pounce it in with my sponge. I use this sponge damp. A lot of people still don't know that you need to dampen it. So, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I, I still get people asking me why this sponge doesn't work. And it's because you need to dampen it. As you can see, it's got really nice coverage. And this is matching to my neck, not like my face, because my face is really red. Make sure to drag it on your neck. Don't want any harsh lines. Sorry if I'm like, I sound like a robot. It's because I'm trying to like go quick. Uh, just gonna go over my eyes as well, just to cover up any discoloration. And then I won't need like as much concealer then. I'm just gonna pat a bit more down the earth. This is where I'm most red, just for like more coverage. Okay, so now that's all blended in, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Eraser in Neutralizer. So this is a nice like yellowy colour and this will just like counteract the dark blue tones in your under eye. Okay, so I just like to put it in these sort of areas and this is where you want like more, more of the light to come to your face because it just like opens up your face and makes it look nice and bright. I 
this just blends out so easily. Just set my like eyes, like my eyelids and un underneath the eyes. I'm gonna use the Bourgeois Peau de Riz. Looks like this. So yeah, it looks like that. It's just like a brightening and dry powder. Um, it has like a pinky sort of tint to it. It reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier brightening, secret brightening powder. Just gonna make sure to get all the creases out on my eyelids. And underneath the eyes. And just go straight under. Smells like old lady. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. Um, I got this off Amazon, um, but it is quite hard to get because I don't think the UK does NYC anymore. They used to do it in Superdrug, but I don't think they do it anymore. So I just use the sponge just to set all this in place. This is what's going to lock your makeup in and make it last like through your work day, your school day whatever you do on your days. Okay, and then to bronze I'm going to use the Max Factor Creme Bronzer in Light Gold and this is just like a powder bronzer but it reminds me a lot of the Too Faced um, Sweet Tea Bronzer. I love to use this big brush. This is the Morphe E2. It's such a good brush. I love it. And I just like press it rather than like swipe my foundation just because it holds the product better and presses it in better. Kind of swipe it on and then I like just do this. If I ever have an itch, just tap it out, tap it out, tap it out. Okay, so to further contour, I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution Contour Kit. It's the first time I'm using it, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Oh yeah, I like that. Yes! Chisel cheekbones. Just gonna use that same shade on my nose quickly. This brush is the Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush. I'm just gonna go over with my sponge, with whatever's left on the sponge. I just kind of like diffuse those lines because they just are a little bit too harsh, you know? Um, blush, I'm just going to use my Blushing Hearts blush from Makeup Revolution in Peachy Keen, which is a glowy blush. Well, obviously, it's me. Blush just like brings your face to life. Love it. Okay, for highlight, this is like um, kind of on the cusp of being affordable. This is £15 and it's by the brand Doll Light Beauty. They're on Instagram. I think. They just started coming into like Topshop, I think it was in Manchester they launched the other day, but they mainly just like an online like Instagram brand. But um oh, what? I can't remember what discount code I used. It was like the P Louise discount discount code and I got the two highlighters that they have for £21. I had like 30% off, so um £15 is like as much as I would pay from the drugstore because I know like Mary Lou Luminizer from the Balm is considered drugstore and that's like £17. So <clears throat> I just have but I just have to show you this. This is the shade Like a Diamond and it's like just a gorgeous light champagne gold. Oh my god. Watch this now. Oh my god. It's so nice. This is like the nicest highlighter ever. I mean like new fave. You might not want to wear this much makeup to work or school, but this is just how I this is just how I do my makeup like every day, so and I just put it up everywhere. 
And then for my eyeshadow, I'm just going to use this shade. It's called Autumn Sunset and it's by the brand Melchior UK Professional. They're on Instagram. I've seen them like floating around for a bit and I made an order the other day. They don't have like an actual website. You just have to like direct message them and they send you like a PDF of like what they have. And then that's how you do it. It's quite hard to tell what's matte and what's shimmer. So if you just keep like asking them questions, they, they're really nice. They message you back. So this is £3.90. So, and they're so big, these pounds. Like what the fuck. But yeah, I love this shade. Just putting this in my socket. I think that's what um, the drugstore lacks is good eyeshadows. I don't know, I've just, I've never found like ones that I really, really enjoy. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But I love this and it's like really affordable. 3.2 grams of product, what the fuck. And just to compare, a Makeup Geek eyeshadow has 1.8, so just to give you an idea. And I'm just going to use one of the darker shades just to go right in the socket from this contour kit. And I just go right underneath. A fluffy brush just to smoke out. Just going to highlight my inner corner. And my brow bone. And then for eyebrows, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Brow Precise brow pencil. I actually um, tinted and waxed them yesterday, so they don't need too much filling in. I really want to try that like tattoo thing they've come up with, though. It looks cool. Okay, I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of the black that I got from Melchior as well as Black Velvet. This is the best black eyeshadow I've ever come across in my life. I'm just like buffing on the edge. Really lightly. Little circular motions. I'm gonna take the Barry M lip liner in the shade number five. This is like my new favourite. I like to fill my lips in with it because it makes lipsticks last longer. And then I'm going to go in with my Bourjois lipstick in the shade Hey Nude. Literally like so creamy and nice feeling lipstick. I love this. And then for mascara, I just go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational. And there's done. Okay, so that is the finished look, guys. This takes me like 20 minutes. I've been filming for like half an hour, but take out the five minutes at the start where I was just mooching about and the bits where I'm talking it does take me like 20 minutes so yeah obviously there's steps you can remove from this to make it even shorter um, like you don't need you don't need eyeshadow but I just like it because it just brings out my eyes a bit more sets them off um, I feel like if I don't wear any eyeshadow they do look a bit just a bit like mm, pistols with the snow Bizzles in the snow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this affordable work slash school makeup look and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.